So, uh, you know, someone pointed out something to me the other day, and I thought it was a little bit funny. He said, hey, if you're going to be going to one of these big cities, especially a democratic city, he said, just run around with a bunch of bananas in your in your bag. He said, when they start to rob you, throw bananas at them. He said, it'll distract them long enough for you to get away. Uh, I mean, I guess that's about as intelligent as using air horns, like they're telling people to do in Oakland, right? Like, throw bananas at them, you can blow your air horn and run away. Shit, I love living in Florida, dude. We don't gotta throw bananas or honk air horns. We could shoot them if they try to do that shit to us here. God. You know, I'm only 46, and I just turned 46. And never in my life did I really actually think that I would see anything like our modern day United States. And, um, it just baffles me that uh, uh, people are as retarded as they are. And for all those who are looking at those, okay, so the problem with those two teeth is I had my face smashed into a Humvee, all right, back in 03, when I got blown out of the fucking turret. And the teeth are dead. They're still in there, but they're dead. So. Some guy mentioned about like, oh, brush your teeth. Well, I do brush my teeth, all right? I just, these two teeth are fucking dead. And I brush, well, I smoke and I drink coffee. So that's the staining. I brush every fucking day just to let you know. These two teeth are fucking dead and I'd rather have them dead and fucking yellow or I guess orange at this point, right? Than have them come out and have a gap like a fucking tweaker. All right, I can't afford implants right now. All right, and I need to go to Molar City, Mexico, to get those implants. It's still gonna cost around $800 each. By the way, you guys know about Molar City. Okay, and if not, I'm gonna tell you. I know if you live far away, it ain't gonna help, but for those who live anywhere within 500 miles of, of Yuma, Arizona, or even a 1,000 miles, the amount of money you'll save on dental work going to Molar City is amazing. Look up Molar City and don't, 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 don't get all freaked out that it's in Mexico, because it's really not Mexico. It's kind of its own little city that's walled off from the rest of Mexico and is only accessible really via the US. There's some serious security and it's just a city of dentists and hotels. So when you go there, you get a free night in a hotel and they do your work for you. You know, and like an implant here in the United States, that's $10,000 to have that pulled out, drilled, capped, and then screwed in. It's like 10 G's. In fucking Molar City, it's like 800 bucks. I mean, don't get me wrong, it comes out to like $1,200 a tooth because of the uh, numbing and the other stuff like that. But the actual procedure itself is $800. So keep that in mind if you need dental work done. Molar City, look it up. It's worth flying out there to Phoenix, and renting a car and going down if you need any major dental work, dude. If you need something major, like a tooth pulled, you know, bite the bullet, pay the $300. But down there, an extracted tooth is 60 bucks. A complicated extraction is a hundred dollars. You know, like my half tooth there, cherry pit. Like two years ago, I was eating cherries and I miscounted the pits to the number of cherries, and I bit down and <laughs> some fucking pain. I'll tell you what, that's a hundred and fucking a hundred and forty to pull, and it's because it, you know, they're gonna have to dig that shit out, which is why I haven't done it yet because I fucking hate the dentist. But anyways, yes, Mulder City and uh, carry bananas and an air horn. I guess if you live in California and everywhere else here in Florida, we can just carry our pieces.